Hey everyone, Trina here, and I'd like to show you how I took Nicole's awesome click and reveal interaction and made it into this brand new pick many interaction in just under 10 minutes. That's right, 10 steps, 10 minutes, super quick and easy. So first I need to swap out these images for my own and adjust their size, position, rotation, and alignment. I also need to reposition these text layers so they don't overlap with my images, and then I'll need to adjust the layer triggers from a click to a hover. And I'm going to change the background color by right-clicking on my slide's base layer and selecting Format Background. And now I'll add some quick instructional text to make it clear to learners what I want them to do. So my design for this interaction is that I want learners to hover over each person and read a blurb of text that gives them some clues about the person's stake in the project. Then I want my learners to click to identify who the project stakeholders are. To do this, I'm going to use Storyline's Convert to Freeform option under the Insert menu. My fictitious project has several stakeholders, so I'm going to select Pick Many, which will allow my learners to select multiple objects on the screen. And from here, I'll specify which items are correct and which are incorrect by selecting them from the Choice dropdown. Okay, so I've made my correct and incorrect selections, and now I just need to specify what feedback I'd like learners to see. If I need to, I can come back later and change any of these answer options or the feedback just by clicking on the Edit Pick Many button. The final thing I need to do is add a button that lets the learner submit their selections. I'll save some more time here and use this rectangular button shape so that I'll have a pre-built trigger. Under the Button Tools menu, I'll choose this check mark icon, change the color, and then I'll change that button trigger to Submit Interaction, and I'll specify that I need this to be for the Pick Many interaction. To further customize your interaction, you can change the look of the feedback pop-ups by clicking the View tab and selecting Feedback Master. When I choose to keep the pop-ups, I like to style them in a color scheme that's consistent with the rest of my course, but of course the choice is up to you. I also made a few more minor tweaks to my interaction, but I think you've got the general idea. By using an existing template with most of the layout, pre-built triggers, and layers that I needed, I was able to create an entirely new interaction in just a little under 10 minutes time. So that's a wrap. See you next time.